The most varied media are filled into and drained from storage tanks every day. Examples are potable water, fruit juices, oils and fuels, acids, brines or even solids like grain, plastic pellets or powder. Since these media can have completely different properties, there are different measuring principles to detect them. For example, point level measurement in liquids or bulk solids according to the vibronic principle, called also tuning fork principle. The tuning fork, which John Shore designed more than 300 years ago, served as a basis for the vibronic principle invented by Endresen Hauser in 1967. This principle uses the direct correlation between oscillation and damping in media. Let's have a closer look at how this measuring method works. Vibronic instruments monitor point levels in tanks, containers, and pipes. A sensor, in form of a tuning fork, is excited to its resonance frequency. The vibronic measuring principle in liquids is based on the resonance shift of a piezoelectrically excited oscillation system. There are two different piezoelectric drives, the bimorph drive in standard instruments and the stack drive in coated instruments. The bimorph drive consists of two discs, a piezo and a ceramic disc, which are connected to each other. At the same voltage, the piezos are compressed and the ceramic disc is bent. At different voltages, the piezos expand again. This causes the oscillations of the fork. The stack drive, however, stacks and fixes several piezo discs with changing polarization on top of each other. The application of a respective alternating voltage also causes the piezos to oscillate. As the piezos expand, the membrane is bent to the outside. The ends of the tuning fork, which is attached to the membrane, are pushed apart. As the piezo contracts again, the membrane is bent to the inside. The ends of the tuning forks, attached to it, are pulled together. As the tines of the fork are covered in a tank as the liquid rises, the resonance frequency of the tuning fork changes. The immersion into the liquid reduces the frequency. This frequency change is analyzed and converted into a switching signal. In solids measurement, only the piezoelectric stack drive is used. As the bulk solids cover the fork, the oscillation is damped. This changes the amplitude of the oscillation. The change is analyzed and converted into a switching signal.